It had all the makings of an unforgettable night at the Honda Center in Anaheim with the Benson Henderson Patricio Pitbull main event, a fight we could never have expected, and an ending we couldn't possibly have seen coming. But it began with the undefeated Uber prospect, A.J. McKee, actually having to work into the second round, Jimmy. Unbelievable. And the reason was the length of Cody Walker, I think, gave him a new wrinkle to think about. But his aggression throughout this fight was killer. Going for the arm triangle, couldn't get it. Showed a lot of maturity about when he would expend energy in this fight. But look at this front choke here, the modified guillotine. Underneath the neck, stepping over to full mount, and that is all she wrote for Cody Walker. 32 seconds into round two, A.J. McKee goes to 5-0 and oh with a bullet. In January 2015, Georgie Karahanyan choked out Bubba Jenkins in that guillotine. A lot of people thought it would happen again. He put him out, but not the way we thought. Look at the right hand here. Bang! Right on the chin by Georgie Karahanyan. All over him with the ground and pound. Look at the weight, the patience. That's why Bubba Jenkins didn't see it coming, waited until his guard was down. A beautiful shot to end the fight. Georgie Karahanian on a two-fight losing streak, back in the mix at 145. Yeah. He is Bubba Jenkins' yeah. kryptonite. Bubba Jenkins has won seven of nine, the two losses to Georgie Karahanian. We thought quietly amongst ourselves, boy, you know, Awad Anderson could be the fight of the night. It might have been one of the fights of the year. That's right. They started out throwing power punches and never stopped. Both guys swinging. But as the fight went on, Derek Anderson a little more active. Sedawad still throwing power punches, but not with volume. After round one, a lot of submission attempts, especially in the opening round. Sedawad trying to finish it here. Wasn't able to get it on the ground at the end of round one. A triangle choke to Uma Plata that almost finished the fight. Sayed Awad, lucky that the round ended. Then after that, both the guys trading punches. Derek Anderson a little busier, a little more versatile. And he wins a unanimous decision victory. Moving near the top of the ladder at 155. A main event we didn't see coming a few months ago and it played out in every possible way, start to finish. All seven and a half minutes, Jimmy, were not what we thought they would be. That's right. Benson Henderson, usually very, very active, started out tentative in this fight. Patricio Pitbull against the fence, trying to kind of bait him in into his power range. And in round one, I thought that's what he did. Landed some power shots. He was the one throwing. But look at this check right there that may have been the end of the fight that we could not have predicted. You see here in round two, Patricio Pitbull injured, could not continue. Medics had to attend to his ankle, and that was the end of the fight. Ben Anderson back on top. Patricio Pitbull had never been stopped, and in this biggest fight in the main event, he stops himself. Ben Henderson will fight Michael Chandler for the lightweight world title. On Friday, September 16th, the darkness is coming. Back to the cage, live and free on Spike. What a shot! Heavyweight striker Chet Congo fights his way to the top of the class as he takes on brawler Tony Johnson, plus the return of Anastasia Yankova. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite. Live September 16th at 9 on Spike.